Hey everyone, got a really lovely question here. We want to find out the value of the x in this right triangle where we have a base of x squared, height of x, and the hypotenuse of x cubed. Okay, so the first thing that we can actually do here is find a similar triangle. And to do that, we can divide each side length by a common value. So in this case, we're going to divide everything by x to get the following. So we have height of 1, base of x, and hypotenuse of x squared. And now we can use Pythagoras where c squared equals a squared plus b squared, where a is x, b is 1, and c is x squared. So we get x squared squared, which would be x to the power of 4 equals x squared plus 1. All right, let's set this equation equal to 0 by bringing everything over to the left-hand side. So the x to the power of 4 minus x squared minus 1. And now what we're going to do is we are going to give x squared a value of y which means that y squared would be x to the power of 4. And now we have the following quadratic equation. Now, there's actually a step before this where if we just consider the original problem, we can do the exact same thing. So using Pythagoras, we would get the following, where we have x cubed squared equals x squared squared plus x squared. And we also set this to 0. So we get x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 4 minus x squared equals 0. And then we can actually factor out the x squared. So x squared multiplied by x to the power of 4 minus x squared minus 1 equals 0. So you can see that we have this expression inside the brackets is the same as this. And we also have x squared out the brackets. So to make this equation true, we can say that x squared equals 0. But that would mean that this side length would have a length of 0, so we reject that as an answer. So actually, this first step, which is quite a common way to do this, is not really necessary, I suppose. So we could always just jump ahead straight to this one by finding a similar triangle. OK, so now that we have the quadratic here, we can use a quadratic formula. So where a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is the constant term negative 1. And now we can find out a value for y by substituting the values in, like so. And we can simplify that then to y equals 1 plus minus square root 1 plus 4 over 2, which is 1 plus or minus square root 5 over 2. So this gives us two possibilities, 1 plus square root 5 over 2 or 1 minus square root 5 over 2. And remember what we said y was? y is equal to x squared. So actually, what we're finding out the value of is x squared in this case. And this one over here, 1 minus square root 5, would give us a negative value. So again, this we would reject. And this value here of x squared equals to 1 plus square root 5 over 2. So this would be for x squared. And now what we can do is we can actually find x by taking the square root of both sides. And so what we find out is that x is equal to the square root of 1 plus square root 5 over 2. And as a value, that is approximately 1.272 to three decimal places. That is a lovely question. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do have an alternative solution, be sure to pop that in the comments below. Thank you.